pretty good. The Bulls Christoph Ratowski darts review starts right now. Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. I think we got a great video for you today. And you know what? I took a quick look around YouTube looking for a review on these things and I couldn't find an English speaking review anywhere. So let me be the first to kick this off with a close-up look at the Bulls Christoph Ratowski darts. I think this is going to be a good one, guys, and uh, I really like these darts. They suit me very well. Straight barrel, kind of a multi-ring design on the back. Very mildly gripped, by the way, so if you think these things are grippy, they are not. But uh, what do you say we grab the other camera? We'll take a close-up look at these things, go over some stats and dimensions, and then, as I always do, we'll take them to the board for a little bit. I'll give them a quick demo, and I'll let you know what I think of the Bulls Christoph Ratowski darts. This should be a good one, guys. Here we go. Okay, let's check out Christoph's fairly new darts. As some of you may recall, he used to use a knurled dart, so it's nice to see him ditch the knurl, kind of go with something a little bit more modern, but we have the Bulls of Germany, Christoph Ratowski, the Polish Eagle darts, comes in your fairly typical cardboard hang case as you see here but like i said in the intro i mean what more does this guy have to do currently ranked number 12 in the pdc and he doesn't have an english speaking darts review so yeah let's give him the review that he deserves great set of darts by the way i think i'm gonna really like these things straight barrel and very mildly gripped so right up my alley so let me get these things out of the box and we'll go over some stats and dimensions Okay, so there we go. Fully assembled stock out of the package. Great looking set of darts. And if you'll notice the red and white multi-rings right here on the back end of the barrel, that represents the colors of the Polish flag. So nice attention to detail there. We've got the medium length polycarbonate stems as well as the standard size Christoph Ratowski flights. And you know, these things feel a little thicker than normal. So I don't know, I'm guessing at least 100 micron flights. Also, as I've mentioned in other Bulls reviews, it's nice that they include a sticker. Inexpensive and everybody loves stickers. So yeah, well done there. But running down some stats and dimensions, this is a 90% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in at 51 millimeters long and the barrel width with these being a straight barrel dart, 6.3 millimeters wide. Now these were advertised as 22 grams. So I put them on the scale. We've got 22.07 grams, 22.08 grams, and 22.08 grams. So only one one hundredth of a gram off. Incredible match weighting from bulls there. But what do you say we get a little bit closer look at these incredible barrels? Okay, let's get a little bit closer look at the barrels here or the barrel here. But if you notice the front end, I guess we'll start there. Incredibly tapered nose cone. But then, yeah, look right behind the nose cone. That appears to be Pixel grip, I mean, right? Yeah, it looks like pixel grip to me. Very smooth, by the way. If you touch that, there's absolutely no sharp edges. Your fingers don't stick to that. And overall, I'm guessing this dart is a lot less grippy than it looks. But in the middle of the barrel there, we got the smooth section with the Bulls logo. And right underneath that, we got the Christoph Rutowski signature. On the back end of the barrel, we have the smoothed over multi-rings. And then right behind that, like I said earlier, the red and white uh, multi-ring stripes representing the Polish flag. So there you go, guys. Christoph Ratowski barrel. And I would go ahead and give that a grip level two on a scale of one to five. So not that grippy at all. And I believe this thing probably looks, I, I would guess it looks a little more grippy than that, but they're not. But what do you say we get these things on the board? Really excited to throw them. 22 grams right up my alley. Not that grippy. I think these are going to throw pretty well. So let's find out. We'll run them on the board with a full stock setup. I probably will add the Trident 180 nose cones just to help preserve the stock flights here. But yeah, let's get these things on the board and see how they fly. Okay, let's have a few quick throws with the stock Bulls Christoph Rutowski darts. 
And like I said, yeah, it's got to be quick. It's roasting in this room right now, 89, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I think they're having a block party outside, so kind of loud background noise. But hey, we got to get this done. And, uh, you know, if I had this to do over again, I probably would have used a shorter length stem. They seem to be flopping through the air a little bit. It could be the heat inside this room, but we'll see how this goes. Great set of darts, though. I love the barrels. I mean, you guys know. Oh, did that get in? <laughs> the silver points got me right there. So, yeah, that's one of my major complaints is that, um, I mean, you guys know, not a fan of silver points. And speaking of points, <clears throat> that's 60 points on the floor right there. So, yeah, I didn't scuff these things up. So, all right, let's see if that one sticks. Ooh, pulled that one. And my flight's falling off. What's going on here today? But you know what? I absolutely love everything about the barrels. You guys know I don't like a grippy dart. These things certainly are not. And the, the grip pattern on here, you can grip the front end on that pixel grip pattern. You can grip on the rear with the smooth multi rings. Either or, I guess you could grip in the middle. I mean, if you like a smooth dart, you could grip right on that smooth section. And believe it or not, my fingertips are barely on that smooth section. More towards the rear, though. But yeah, a couple, um, two major complaints with these darts. One being the points. I do not like them. The other, um, the heck was the other one? Oh, you know, they came with these stem rings that I absolutely did not like. So I just took the stem rings completely off for this review. But yeah, I didn't really care for the stem rings, though. But everything else, I cannot complain. This is a great dart. And you know... The dimensions here, I think that's pretty much typical with most pro player darts. Right around the 50 to 51 millimeter length and then 6.3. I seem to be seeing a ton of darts, 90% tungsten, 6.3 millimeters wide. So pretty much average right there. And you know, Christoph actually used to use knurled darts. So kind of nice to see him ditch those things and... Get with the times, get with the uh, 21st century. Oh, robbed again. Oh, that would have been a pre boom. That's two 60s on the floor. But, ah, hey, that happens in darts. And, um, you know, easily rectified though. If you did want to keep the silver points, all you have to do, I have this. The Winmore sharpening tool, I guess. I don't know. It's just a point tool. So all I had to do was scuff these up, which I should have done prior to the start of this review. And I wouldn't have lost 120 points on the floor. But hey, so be it. That was some real life darts. Well, anyway, guys, I did have one more clip for you. And uh, keep an eye on the right hand side of that treble 20 bed because this was a tight one couple lucky deflections as well. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. The first one went in kind of flat. Oh, beautiful deflection on the third. Got the OG boom shirt. Yeah, I believe that third one hit the flight right here and deflected inwards. So hey, there's good deflections, there's bad deflections. I'll take the good ones all day long. Well, there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the close-up look at the Bulls, Christoph Ratowski darts. And by the way, I never mentioned this in the entire video, but I had to go in, I actually forgot where I bought these things from, so I went into my orders and I found out that I ordered these from Dart Shopper in the Netherlands. And um, when I did order them, I think I paid $8 shipping, had these in my hand within two days here in the United States. So simply amazing. The, um, pretty much Dart Shopper has solved the problem with international shipping. Now you can order through these guys, have your stuff in a matter of days depending on which shipping you use. They have an $8 version and a $10 version as well. Either one 
gets to you incredibly quick here in the United States. So definitely be a, it will definitely be worth a look. I'll have them, I'll have all the information down in the pinned comment down below. So make sure you check them out there. And uh, whew, this outro is tough. I'm, uh, I'm sweating. I think it's about like 89 degrees inside my room here today. Door shut, air conditioned on the other side of the wall. Well, anyway, guys, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed the video, hey, please feel free to leave a thumbs up as well. And until next time, we will see you on the next video. Later.